Hey guys, so let me start off by letting you know that I have officially learnt my lesson from trying to film behind the scenes footage of my last few videos and it's clearly time to invest in a camera mic. All of the footage of me talking on location was of no use because there was a hell of a lot of background noise and crazy wind, so I'll just show and tell you what went down David Attenborough style. Here we see a wild Zambian violinist in her natural habitat. Ha! Let's take a look at the last four music videos I released for Alone, Shape of You, Supermela Radio, and Despacito. So Frank, a photographer friend of mine that goes by Frank Finds on Instagram, filmed this one for me in Musenberg in Cape Town. We somehow managed to choose the windiest day ever out there on the promenade. I usually like to use the Cape Town winds to my advantage in videos to get that glam, big fan effect, but this was on another level. It was really difficult to actually play because the wind kept blowing my bow off of my violin and my hair was a straight up nightmare. I had to try perform facing mainly one direction and Frank came up with some interesting angles instead. It definitely has a different vibe to my previous videos and was tricky to edit but all worked out in the end. And what's really great is that we discovered a future video location while filming at this one. Yay! Moving on to Shape of You and the three videos I shot in Zambia with my brother Henry, aka That Z Photographer. Aw oh, damn, sorry I didn't actually take any behind the scenes footage of this one, but here's a photo I posted on Instagram on the day. This shoot was pretty uneventful, it was the last of the three that we shot over three days and we kept it super simple. So simple in fact that we filmed across the road from my parents house in the park under some trees. And that's pretty much all there is to say about this one. And now for Subamela Radio. So I heard the teaser for this that Enrique Iglesias posted on Twitter and decided it would be a good one to cover and shoot while I was going to be in Zambia in February. The only problem was that the track was only released on the 24th of Feb and I couldn't stay in Zambia till then because I had my sister-in-law's wedding to get back to Cape Town for, but that's a different story. So we shot the video using a Frankenstein's monster-like track that was pieced together using a bunch of different short fan videos that were taken at Enrique Iglesias' actual video shoot and then posted on YouTube. And so so I learnt my lines based on what I thought I could hear and just sort of hoped for the best. Luckily it worked out and when the official single was released I wasn't too far off. We filmed at two separate locations for this one, I've never done that on a shoot before. Location one was a scrapyard with some colourful sets for me to perform on and we played around with different trucks and angles and we even put my brother on top of an old ambulance, although I'm not sure that we used any of those shots. Long. The second location was a private airstrip with an awesome old plane that had seen better days. Vaughn did a great job producing the track and we managed to release it about a week after the official single dropped and Zion and Lennox actually shared my video on their Facebook page which was pretty sweet. My mom, who shot all of the behind the scenes footage you're watching from the Super Miller Radio Day, by the way. Thanks, Mom! So, her and Henry had a close up encounter with a snake, which they think may have been a cobra, so we all felt a little uncomfy after that, called it a day, and headed back to town. But then, on the way home, a really dramatic storm started rolling in, and we decided to rush back to the first location to see if we could capture any of it, and turns out we got super lucky. And my battery's about to die. <laughs> It's a race against time now. Bonus clip! Here's my dad pretending to be a plane. <laughs> the last of the three videos we filmed in Zambia was for Despacito. Pasito, pasito, suave, suavecito. So, Henry sent pics of the location before I got to Zambia, and so this was the only location that we knew we were going to shoot at for sure. If you haven't noticed, I love abandoned locations. I would shoot all of my videos in abandoned spots if they weren't often kind of dangerous to be hanging around in. I had to learn to play and perform the song at almost double speed so that we could get the slow-mo effects in movement but have the actual plane still be in time. So this is what I actually sounded and looked like. Anyway, Emmanuel of Move Tour Z actually suggested the location which is in his hometown, Kalalushi, and he shot the behind the scenes footage for me and did a little interview afterwards. I'll leave the link for that in the info below. Bonus clip, here's proof that my brother gets his dance moves from my dad. Ha! And finally, a fun useless fact. The jeans I wore in Shape of You, the top I wore in Subeme, and the dress I wore in Despacito were all stolen from my washing line when I got back to Cape Town. So you'll never see me wearing any of those outfits again. No! 
Thanks for watching guys, thanks to my Patreon supporters for making these videos happen, and as always, keep an eye out for more videos coming out soon.